from the Cal Fire Information Center. I'm Amy Head with the Fire Situation Report for Monday, August 8th, 2014. Last week proved to be an extremely busy week for firefighters who contended with some major challenges brought on by Mother Nature. The increased activity all started early in the week when thousands of lightning strikes hit northern and central California, sparking multiple fires that continue to be a challenge for firefighters due to the remote locations and unforgiving terrain. Switching over to our statewide fire map, you can see there are currently a dozen major wildfires actively burning throughout California. Over 7,500 state, local, and federal firefighters are on the front lines battling those fires, which have charred over 134,000 combined acres so far. Zooming in first to Shasta County, where CAL FIRE is working in unified command with the U.S. Forest Service to battle the Bald Fire. The lightning spark Bald Fire started on Wednesday and has grown to nearly 40,000 acres. Firefighters continue to work around the clock in containing the Bald Fire and currently have it 20% contained. And also in Shasta County, the Eiler Fire, southeast of Bernie, started on Thursday. That fire quickly grew to over 25,000 acres due to some high winds and dry conditions in the area. The fire continues to be very active as firefighters work to get that blaze under control. And in Modoc County, Cal Fire is battling the nearly 13,000 acre Day Fire burning just north of the community of Day. Firefighters continue to make great progress against the blaze, but a red flag warning has been issued through Tuesday evening in Modoc and several other areas in Northern California due to the thunderstorms in the area, which will bring some additional challenges to firefighters battling the fire. Firefighters currently have the day fire 55% contained. Switching over to our fire weather headlines, as mentioned, several areas in Northern California are expected to see more dry lightning over the next couple of days, elevating the potential for even more wildfires in those areas. As we head further into the week though, we're expecting to see wetting rains beginning to accompany those storms, which will help alleviate some of that fire danger. And in Southern California, after some major storms last week, the potential for new large fires is expected to remain somewhat lower through the weekend. This week's burst of large wildfires serves as a reminder of just how dry conditions are this year in California. Cal Fire is urging all Californians to ensure they are set for wildfires. Make sure that you and your family create a wildfire action plan now so that everybody knows what to do when a wildfire approaches. For more tips on getting set for wildfire, visit readyforwildfire.org. That's the latest on the fire situation in California. I'm Amy Head. Have a fire safe week.